Good day and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this tutorial video, we'll be looking at how to conduct coin integration test. But first of all, I'd like us to answer two fundamental questions. One, why is coin integration test necessary? And uh, when do we need to conduct coin integration test? Well, to answer those two questions, I will start by telling us when coin integration test is not necessary, when it's not needed. Coin integration test is not needed when your series are stationary. By stationary, I mean they are high or variable. Okay, high or variables in your model or through the model, they are high or variable. There's no need to conduct cointegration test because cointegration test is meant to ascertain whether or not a long run relationship exists in the model. But your high or variable already tell you that this series are long run series, they are pretty stable series, so there's no need to conduct cointegration test in that regard. Now, when do we need to conduct cointegration test? We have that under two. Uh, two circumstances. Number one is when your series are not stationary or true, like you have I1 series or true the model, you conduct a stationary test and all these series in the model are I1 series. Okay. And number two is that your series are mixed order of integration, mixed order of stationarity, like you have with high O and high one in the same model. Then in that case, in those two cases, there's need for you to conduct co integration test. Now, uh, we have different cointegration tests that fit uh, best for each of those scenarios. If your, if your series in the model are a mixture of I O, I1, then bond test would do well. Okay, bond test, cointegration test will be the test to conduct to find out if a longer relationship exists in the model. But if they are I1 series all through the model, then Johansson cointegration test would do well to find out if a longer relationship exists in the model. Okay. But uh, in each of this uh, case, if a longer relationship do exist in the model, then it is mandatory for you to uh, estimate both short run and long run model. Okay, so now let's see uh, how we can conduct bond test co integration test under the assumption that the series in the model are mixture of I1 and I1 variable. So here we come here, we take GDP good as dependent variable, hold your control button, then click on FDI and CUDA price. I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna open as equation. Yeah, come to the uh, drop down menu here. I see RDL at the head. You click on it. Uh, you can click on OK. Then we'll come to view. Uh, question diagnostics. We we'll find bond test. Okay. We have a uh, um, bond test result. The null hypothesis no longer relationship exists. So what, uh, what are the decision criteria? Okay, uh, the decision criteria is that for co for co integration to exist, for longer relationship to exist the model, then your F statistics must exceed the upper bound of the uh, critical value bound. This is the lower. These are the lower bounds significant, and these are the upper bound. So if your F statistics exceed the upper bound, either one or all of this then the longer relationship exists if it falls if it falls below then no longer relationship exists no co integration if it, it falls in between then it is indeterminate perhaps there's need to conduct additional tests okay so in this case we find that at 2.5 percent how poor co integration exists longer relationship exists because the f statistics exceed the upper bound so in this case yes we establish a long run relationship Okay, now this is under the assumption that the series in the model are a mixture of I O I one. Okay, let's go and look for cointegration where series are high one or true, non stationary. Okay, now we have this highlighted already. We right click and open as as group. Yeah, we open as group, and then we come to view. You see cointegration test towards the tail head there. Johnson system. Yes, just. What we are looking for is a perfect fit for series that are non stationary. Okay. 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 Yeah, we have our result. So now, the null hypothesis is still that there's no longer relationship in the model. It's null hypothesis. Okay. And uh, for us to reject the null hypothesis, their probability value must be less than or equal to 0 0.05. In this case, it is not because our probability value for both three statistics and 
uh, maximum hinging value statistics uh, enough. Let's do another equal to 0 0.05. So in this case, we can conclude that there is no integration anymore. There are no longer relationship exist. But I must tell you that uh, this hypothesized number of uh, CS, yeah, it need not necessarily that all these ones are significant. If you do find them significant in your own case, if you have at most one significant, you just need just one to be significant for cointegration to exist. However, you cannot have as uh let's say this is not significant and then this is significant we cannot say that it's cointegration okay the preceding must be significant because before we recognize the significance of the succeeding one okay so in this case uh no longer relationship exists okay another way to look at it is that your trace statistics must be more than the critical value and uh, either way uh at this level we couldn't find uh, significance between them so that is that i want to use your answer cointegration test is telling us that uh, no significance there's there's no longer relationship in the model what could be happen well the only thing i could guess is that for this series we have mixture of i o i one okay we could find out let's see let's delete this yes delay. now let's look at the stationary property and find out why we have cointegration using bond test but when we look at johnson we couldn't find cointegration let's look at code out price what happened view unit to test levels trend and intercept we assume okay no coin no okay we say that's unit to test no stationary yeah when there's unit to test then that means there's no it is not stationary okay yeah, for there to be, for 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 this test to be stationary, then the ADF test statistics in absolute there must be more than uh, the test critical values. In this case, it is less. So, at levels, no stationary. It is not stationary. We can look at that for the difference. What do we have? Okay, yeah, stationary at first difference because it is the uh, the test test uh, in absolute term is more than any of these critical values. So. Yeah, we see crude oil price is stationary only at first difference. It's a non stationary series. Let's look at FDI GDP. You need to test levels. We still we hang on to it there. And, uh, okay, look at it. Non stationary. It is non stationary. It is statistics in absolute term is less than uh, all of this. Non stationary. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, false difference voila at first difference it is stationary okay so uh we establish a crude oil price and have their gdp they are not stationary series what about gdp growth you need to let's just stick to their levels trend and intercept okay in this case we find out that uh it is stationary at five percent because the t statistics in absolute term is more than uh the test critical value at five and at ten percent so yeah this is this is stationary so we can see that this model is a mixture of i o and high one series and as a result of that we could only establish a longer relationship using bond test but when we uh, uh employ the johnson contribution test longer relationship could not be established sure. It is very important for you to know the uh you need to property of your series before you decide whether or not contribution test is necessary and uh if they they are now stationary then you need to decide whether you have to use a bond test or johnson contribution test depends on the uh the arrangement of the stationary uh the stationarity property of the um of your series in the model so johansen the cointegration test is a pre-estimation test. Okay, it tells us whether it informs us of the choice of model to adopt, choice of estimate uh, estimation model to adopt. Okay, if you do conduct a cointegration test and you find the series to be cointegrated, and it is important that you estimate both short-run and long-run model. But if your series, if they are not cointegrated, then you can stick, you can stick with a short-run model. It means a longer model is. Will be spurious. There's no need to establish a long-run relationship in the model.
thank you for watching if you're joining this channel for the first time okay or you have joined this channel before but you have not subscribed please you will do well to click on the subscribe button a like and drop a comment thank you so much for watching